So when x is 0, the y-intercept is 5. Then if we pay attention to the slope, we could use the rise over run to find the next point. So we go down 3 over 4, so we're at the ordered pair 4, 2. We can now draw a line through these two points. And once we do that, this line is going to represent that equation. Now, another way that we could solve this same problem, if you're not good with the using rise over run, is substituting. So we can use when x is 0, x is 4, and x is 8. And the reason we want to use those x values are because they're easy to work with our denominator of 4. So we already know when x is 0, y is going to be 5. That's how we get the ordered pair 0, 5. But now once we substitute in a different value, say when x is 4, we notice that the 4s are going to cancel out. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, and then negative 3 plus 5 is 2. So we know a second ordered pair is going to be 4, comma 2, which we already have. Then if we go ahead and do the same thing for when x is 8, we simplify by 4, so 8 turns into 2. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. So our last ordered pair would be 8, negative 1. And when we look at our graph, that's this point that I'm currently highlighting, which that line does pass through.